In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at GarageBand's basic interface and workspace and how to import audio files into GarageBand, edit them, and then transfer them back to iMovie. So what I've done here is I've opened up GarageBand from my dock and the first dialog window that we always see is the new project window. And we can select which type of project we want. If all we're doing is editing some audio files that we've previously recorded and bringing them into iMovie, we can select anything that we want. I'm just going to choose voice because I'm going to be working with a voice track. So select that and then you're going to be asked to save your file somewhere. So just save it in an appropriate location. And click create. and GarageBand will open up its interface for you. So what we've got here is the timeline. This is where most of the action happens. And they've brought in two vocal tracks for us, a male basic and a female basic. We don't actually need either of these because we're going to be importing our own audio. But just to have a look at them anyway, this is where the audio appears. You can drag loops and audio files into this space here. Uh, on the right side of the screen, you've got different options to select different types of instruments. So if you're working with drums or bass, you can change it to the appropriate sound. If you're working with vocals, again, you can add various effects or you can have no effects. Um, if you click on edit, it allows you to adjust your audio using various techniques such as compressors, visual EQ, um, reverb, echo, and so on. Lots of options there to work with. Master Track gives you an overview of everything that's been added to this. So just skip back down to the bottom of your screen and you've got a large plus icon which adds new tracks. You've got the track editor, you've got your playback controls, play, scan back, scan forward, back to start and record. And you've got a refresh icon here to turn cycle region on or off, the metronome uh, for loops. and various other options here. So in our case all we're doing is literally dragging an mp3 file into the timeline. So I'm going to drag this in and GarageBand will import my previously recorded audio file. I can delete the other two tracks that I don't need by pressing command and delete and just have a quick listen to what we've got here by pressing play and it's going to play back our audio file. Okay, As we're going through here, it works very much the same way as iMovie. So if I only wanted those first four seconds of the clip, what you've got to do is select your track and then go into the edit menu and choose split. Or you can just use the shortcut command T and then delete the bit that you don't need. And when you're ready to go, you can export this by choosing share export song to disk. And you can save it at full quality or mp3 quality, whatever you would like. Export your file. And I'm just going to save this to the desktop for the moment. Okay, then I can minimize GarageBand for the moment and open up iMovie. And this is the file we were working on before. If I want to import this mp3 into iMovie, just drag the mp3 onto the timeline like we saw before. okay, And you can just move it along to put it in the appropriate position if you need to match it up with your the audio in your video. So for example if you had recorded your audio separately from your video you can switch off the audio on the video clip by just opening audio adjustments and turning volume down and then the audio that you bring in will replace that and you can just move it along the timeline by clicking and dragging. And that's a very simple introduction to using GarageBand as an audio editor and then importing that audio file into iMovie.